the only obstacle getting like real hard commitments from people that had no idea what they were going to be doing two years from now. Um, so, you know, we've made a wish list of, of the best of the jazz worlds and the best of the eclectic worlds, and um, it started from there. And what is she actually doing? Are these largely instrumental pieces? No, 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 no. Actually, um, Karen and uh, the ladies of the Dirty Projectors are working out their vocal parts in another room. So um, we have uh, Haley and Amber of the Dirty Projectors as well, um, along with Karen doing a lot of vocal arrangement stuff. Me? Yes. Now you guys are rec recreating um, music that's about like a hundred years old, like mm -hmm. with modern day technology. What were the boundaries you guys put on it to make it not be just too much? Um, I'll say probably the only boundaries that we joked about was the fact that, I mean, between, between Dee Dee Jackson, Derek Hodges, myself, um, and Dave, especially David Murray, um, you know, probably those three guys are the craziest jazz soloist ever. Um, one of the dangers we realized that if we had let everyone have a piece of the pie each each song, then this would have been a four-hour production. So I kind of wanted to, we wanted to sort of ADD it. <coughs> And you know we had a lot of arrangers. So between Larry Gold, Dan, Dan yeah, Dan, 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 oh, you coming? Yeah, part of it. <laughs> All the geniuses yeah. are, are shouting. Part of it. Let's give a hand to the arrangers. Daniel, yeah. Daniel did far more than I did. Yeah. So between Anthony and Tit, Dan, <laughs> yes, I can't pronounce it. And Larry Gold, um, and uh, uh, David Murray's inside there still rehearsing. Uh, Everyone took a piece of music and sort of uh, interpolated, and there were really no limitations. You know, if it if it stuck to the wall, mm -hmm. you kept it. Cool. It seems like you have.